SSL or secure socket layer is one of the early and most common secure transport algorithms. Now the design goal of SSL was to create an encrypted path between a client and a server. And SSL uses an AES, which is one of the most secure symmetric uh, encryption algorithm today. The current version of SSL is version 3. Now another popular secure transport algorithm is TLS or Transport Layer Security. SSL version 3 is the basis for TLS version 1. Although SSL served as the basis of TLS, but TLS is a lot more secure than SSL. Now, one of the most common applications of TLS and SSL that I'm sure you all have seen is a secure HTTP protocol. So HTTPS or Hypertext Transport Protocol Secure is actually HTTP over SSL or TLS. HTTP uses port 80 but HTTP secure or HTTPS uses port 443. So in this lesson, we're going to delve into the details of SSL or TLS protocol and find out how it works and creates a secure connection between a client and server. Now, before client and server can send and receive any type of data, they must complete a handshake protocol which is the most complex part of TLS. So this protocol allows the server and client to authenticate each other and to negotiate an encryption hashing algorithm and cryptographic keys. So as we go through these steps in this lesson, I'm going to capture SSL communication between a client and server and I'm going to show you what we have in each packet. And as I explain it, we can see the packets as well. The communication starts by a client sending a hello message to the server that he wants to establish a secure connection with. Now in that hello message, it lists down its SSL version, a random value to be used as a nonce during a key exchange, a session ID, a cipher suite, meaning the encryption, hashing, and key exchange algorithm that it supports, and the compression method if there is. When the server receives that protocol, server is going to respond back by saying hello. So server hello is back. And in that hello message, server says um, your SSL protocol version is good. So if server supports that protocol version, it's going to acknowledge that and says that's good. Server is going to also have a random generated uh, to be used as nonce. And it adds a session ID. And then server tells, here is the encryption, hashing, and key exchange algorithm that I picked from the list that you sent to me. So server is going to reply back by its cipher suite. And that cipher suite is the one that it picked from a list of the algorithms that client sent. And then server is going to say, okay, I'm good with your compression method. And by the way, here is my digital certificate, which includes my public key plus the certificate chain or path that's signed by uh, my certificate. And then it goes back to the client. Now, let's go to our Wireshark and take a look at this step that, that I just explained. So here I have uh, captured this communication between my machine, which is 10.40.40.10, and uh, Palo Alto web server, which is 199.167.52.141. So you can see the first packet that was captured here is uh, client hello. And if I look at the this client hello, so here is the transport layer security that we have. And if I look at that client hello, you can see here client hello. The handshake protocol is at client hello step. And it says handshake type is client hello. And you can see here the version that client sent to the server. Here is the random that I mentioned that the client sent to the server. And here is the session ID. And as you can see, the session ID length is zero. So client basically didn't send any session, session ID to the server. And the reason for that is that this is a new connection setup. So if client is starting a new connection with a the server, then there, there will be no session ID here. 
But if there is a session ID here, that means the client is communicating with the server over an existing session. And then here is the Cypher suite that client sends to the server. And you can see the list of all algorithms that the client supports. And you can see there are quite a lot. So if you look at one of them here, for example, the first one, it says for this transport layer security um, using ECDHE. So that's elliptic curve Diffie-Hellman uh, key exchange algorithm. So for key exchange, it's going to use Diffie-Hellman and the ver a version of Diffie-Hellman is uh, elliptic curve. And then it's going to say uh, for our symmetric encryption, I'm going to use AES 128 bit. And the SHA-256 is the uh, hashing algorithm that this client supports. And then down here we have compression method. So if you look at this compression method, there is nothing. So the client is not going to use any compression method here. Now, when it comes to server, here is the response from server. You can see from that server to destination, which is my machine. That's the TLS protocol that I have. And that's server hello. Now let's go through the details that we have inside the hello packet from the server. So server here says, uh, here you can see handshake protocol server hello. And the uh, handshake type is server hello. And here is the version that server says it's good. I support that. Here's the random that server generated. So this random is going to be used as a nonce. So it's going to be added to the key later. And here is the session. So server is assigning a session to this client. So from now on, when client communicates with the server, client is going to add this session as a session ID to its communication. And here is the algorithm that server picked from client. So server says, I, I'm, I'm picking this TLS EDCH RSA with AES256 and SHA386. So that is what I've picked from the list that you sent to me. And the compression method, that was null. Now, the next thing that I said server sends is the certificate. So that is in the next packet that you can see here. And if I scroll down here, you can see handshake protocol is certificate. Handshake type is certificate. And down here, we have the list of all certificates or certificate chain. So the first one here on the list is the server certificate. So server sends this certificate and says, this is my certificate, which is signed by this certification authority. And that certification authority is um, authorized by the other certification authority. So you can see the list of the path to the root certification authority. So if you remember in previous lesson when I was talking about the certification authorities and digital certificates, I showed you the path that each certificate has uh, on the list that goes to the different certification authorities. Now, if the key exchange algorithm that was picked from the list by server is Diffie-Hellman, which in our case is Diffie-Hellman, then the client waits for the server to send another message called server key exchange, which has the Diffie-Hellman parameters that the client needs to create the pre-master key. But if the key exchange algorithm selected by the server is RSA key exchange, then the client does not need these uh, parameters since the server's public key that was uh, extracted from the certificate is enough to encrypt the pre-master key. Now the client verifies the certificate that it received from the server. If the certificate is not signed by a certification authority, the client cannot verify that and it's going to throw an error. So I'm sure you all have seen this error. If you trust the server, you can click on the continue to this website. If you don't trust it, then you have to click on uh, the click here to close this web page. If everything is okay, then the client generates a pre-master key and then encrypts that with the server's public key and then it sends it to the server. Now this step is called client key exchange. Then the server uses its private key to decrypt this pre-master key and then at this point both of them use pre-master key to compute a master secret key which will be used later to generate the final key, which is called the session key. 
Now, if you look at the Wireshark packet, here you can see a server key exchange. So in server key exchange down here, we have, uh, you can see here, the content type is Handshake and down here we have Handshake protocol is server key exchange and Handshake type is server key exchange. And down here we have EC Diffie Hellman server parameters. So that's elliptic curve Diffie Hellman algorithm. And the server is going to send its key to client. This public key that server sends to the client is different from the public private key that the server has. This key is a result of the calculation of uh, Diffie-Hellman that uh, will be sent to client. This is different from the server's public key. Right after this, server is going to send uh, my hello packet is done. My hello site is done. So I'm done with this hello packet exchange. Right after that, we have client key exchange as we talked about. And here you can see client's EC Diffie Hellman uh, parameters and client's going to send this key to the server. This is the result of client's Diffie Hellman calculations uh, in the first step. And then client's going to send this public key to the server. Now both of them are going to use these keys that they receive from each other to continue with their Diffie Hellman calculation. So both will come up with a master key, which will be used to generate a session key later. Now the client is going to send a message which is called change cipher spec. This is to inform the server that all subsequent data that the client is going to send to server will be encrypted with this uh, newly negotiated cipher spec and keys. And then it's going to send a separate encrypted message initiating that the client portion of the handshake is finished. Then the server is going to send a change cipher spec message to the client saying that all subsequent data will be encrypted with our agreed cipher spec and keys. And then it sends an encrypted message in the, uh, indicating the server portion of the handshake is finished. So if you look at that under this Wireshark captured packet, you can see here right after client key exchange, we have change cipher spec. So if I click on that change cipher spec, here is basically the message that the client sends to the server and says all the subsequent messages are going to be encrypted with the agreed uh, algorithms and keys. And then here is the finish or the last message that client sends to the server. Now under Wireshark, this uh, message is shown as encrypted handshake message. And down here you can see it says uh, handshake protocol encrypted handshake message. And then right after that, as I mentioned, we have servers uh, change cipher spec. That server is going to send the message to client saying that from now on, all my messages are going to be encrypted uh, using the agreed algorithms and keys. And then we have encrypted hash, uh, handshake message, which tells the client that I'm done with the uh, my portion of handshake. So at this point, we have a secure connection between the client and server, and now they can exchange data securely. Okay, so that's it for SSL protocol. Uh, I hope you found it helpful, and I'll see you in the next video.